Sarah Ferguson stole the show today at her daughter Princess Eugenie's royal wedding, with the Duchess of York putting on an animated display during the emotional ceremony. Friends of the Duchess of York said she had been a bag of nerves before seeing her estranged former father-in-law Prince Philip at the ceremony. The mother of the bride was also understood to be worried about a frosty reception from her former brother-in-law Prince Charles after his wife, Camilla, decided to snub 28-year-old Princess Eugenie's big day. Prince Andrew's ex-wife was blacklisted by members of the firm back in 1992 when pictures emerged of the redhead receiving a toe-sucking from oil tycoon John Bryan. But she appeared happy and relaxed when she arrived at St. George's Chapel in Windsor for her daughter's royal wedding to 32-year-old Jack Brooks Spank and was seen breathing a comical sigh of relief as she eventually made her way to her seat. Sarah Ferguson smiled and waved to the crowds and went over to meet members of the public as she arrived at the ceremony. Royal insiders said 58-year-old Fergie was looking forward to making her royal comeback at Windsor and had enthusiastically thrown herself into wedding planning. The Queen and Philip's granddaughter and her fiancé were spotted arriving at Windsor Castle just a few hours after the Dean of Windsor described them as the perfect couple. She cut a striking figure as she arrived in a British racing green dress, with a matching hat. The Duchess dress was designed by Windsor designer Emma Louise Design. Mrs. Ferguson accompanied the look with a vintage Manolo Blahnik handbag and matching hat by Jess Collett. The handbag was also carried by the Duchess' own mother when she married Prince Andrew in 1986. The Duchess appeared in good spirits as she made her way down the aisle with Beatrice clearly excited to be at the wedding. The Duchess of York rushed to hug a member of the public as she arrived at St. George's Chapel for the second royal wedding of the year. Leaving her elder daughter, Princess Beatrice, waiting briefly as the pair emerged from a car outside the chapel at Windsor Castle to cheers from onlookers, Sarah Ferguson greeted family friend Jessie Hewerty. The 83-year-old had been a close friend of Sarah's mother, and attended the Duchess's 1986 Westminster Abbey to the Duke of York. Mrs. Hewerty, from New York, said it was lovely to get a hug from the mother of the bride on Friday. She gave me a big hug and said she was happy that I was here, said the mother of three, who sat in a wheelchair in the front row of the crowd gathered in Horseshoe Cloister opposite the chapel's west door. She added, it was lovely. She is a lovely woman. She never forgets her friends. Moments later, Prince Philip arrived at the chapel, ending speculation he would not attend due to his two-decade-old feud with Mrs. Ferguson. Fergie was soon trending on Twitter as she firmly was welcomed back into the royal fold with Piers Morgan branding the Duchess of York his favorite royal. The mother of the bride took her seat to watch Princess Eugenie and Father Prince Andrew walk down the aisle. It is the first time she has been in the same room as the entire royal family including senior royals the Queen, Prince Harry and Prince William, in more than 20 years. And it appears the Duchess of York and Prince Philip put their feud to one side with Fergie sat just one row in front of the Duke of Edinburgh. Princess Eugenie is the next royal to walk down the aisle, as she and fiancé Jack Brooks Spank will tie the knot later this month. When is the royal wedding and how can you watch it? Princess Eugenie and Jack Brooks Spank will marry in less than two weeks. Following the spectacle of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's royal wedding on May 19 this year, the couple will also take to Windsor Castle's St. George's Chapel to tie the knot. An estimated 18 million people caught a glimpse of Meghan and Harry's wedding on TV. It was broadcast by the BBC in the UK but the British broadcaster has declined to show all of Eugenie and Jack's big day, instead they will show highlights. Eugenie and Jack are to be wed in just under two weeks, on Friday, October 12. Their ceremony will once again take place in Windsor, where a packed guest list of 850 people are set to attend. However, the occasion will take place over two days, and will stand out even by royal standards. Eugenie and Jack will be married at 11 a.m., before taking a carriage procession at midday from Windsor Castle's Royal Muse and on to the High Street. Revelers based on Castle Hill, 
the High Street and Park Street will be able to catch a glimpse of the couple as they journey through Windsor. The reception will be hosted by the Queen before the wedding party moves on to Royal Lodge, owned by now divorced Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson, for a black tie evening do. Eugenie and Jack's second day on Saturday, October 13 will see a relaxed festival vibe. Talking to the Daily Telegraph, a royal source said, after the more formal celebration at Windsor Castle, the Saturday bash will be a relaxed party. There will be dodgems and fun fair rides, coconut shies, lots of food stalls, loads of cocktails, bloody marys for the hangovers and a festival vibe. The latest royal wedding will not debut on the BBC, like Meghan and Harry's affair. UK viewers will be able to watch Eugenie and Jack over broadcasters ITV. A monster three-hour show will see Eugenie tie the knot, hosted by veteran presenters Ruth Langsford and Damon Holmes. The live broadcast will begin at 10 a.m., showing guests as they arrive for the event. In the U.S., royal fans are still left wondering how they will watch the wedding, as no plans have yet been announced. ITV's U.S. counterpart ITV America could pick up the event for viewers across the pond, although again this is not confirmed. If viewers in America do get the chance to watch the wedding live, some may need to get up in the early hours to catch the action. Those on the East Coast will need to be up by 6 a.m. EST to watch for the start of the wedding at 11 a.m. BST. The Duke of Sussex may find himself bumping into an old flame at his cousin's wedding. Princess Eugenie and Prince Harry's ex Crescent de Benes have been friends for years and she's likely to make an appearance at her friend's wedding. The pair have been pals for a long time and it was Eugenie that introduced Crescenda to Harry back in 2012. Unfortunately, Harry and Crescenda separated ways after two years as the actress wanted to focus on her acting career. Since their breakup there has been no bad blood between the pair, with Crescenda attending Harry's wedding in May. Crescenda is said to now be dating another Harry by the name of Harry Wentworth Stanley who also has royal connections. Princess Eugenie is set to marry her fiancé Jack Brooks Bank on October 12. The ceremony will take place at Windsor Palace and will be a star-studded affair with celebrities such as Amal and George Clooney and Victoria and David Beckham attending. After the wedding, the newlyweds will take a carriage procession through the town before enjoying their reception that is set to run over two days. Brooks Bank recently spoke to the Daily Mail about his upcoming wedding ceremony and shared that he has been feeling anxious about his big day. I'll need to take a few minutes for myself before the speeches because I'm terrified. It's very exciting but I'm a little bit nervous," he admitted. Unlike her fiancé, Eugenie admitted that she was nothing but excited for her wedding day in a recent interview with British Vogue. I'm not stressed at all, Eugenie said in the magazine's September issue. It's very nerve-wracking because you want it to be perfect but then you realize that you're going to be with the person you love forever and nothing else really matters. Princess Eugenie is gearing up for her royal wedding to Jack Brooks Bank, but while the royal revealed that she was not stressed about her big day, her fiancé admitted he feels otherwise. Brooks Bank spoke to the Daily Mail about his upcoming wedding ceremony and shared that he has been feeling anxious about his big day. I'll need to take a few minutes for myself before the speeches because I'm terrified. It's very exciting but I'm a little bit nervous," he admitted. In contrast to her fiancé, Eugenie said that she was nothing but excited for her wedding day in a recent interview with British Vogue. I'm not stressed at all, Eugenie said in the magazine's September issue. It's very nerve-wracking because you want it to be perfect but then you realize that you're going to be with the person you love forever and nothing else really matters. And while the soon-to-be bride didn't give away any details of her wedding ceremony, Brooks Bank did reveal that he helped out with some of the wedding planning process. I've not been kept out of all the planning. I get to decide some things. I'm in charge of drinks and will be serving Kissamagos, said the 32-year-old liquor distributor who currently works as the UK ambassador for George Clooney and Rand Gerber's top-shelf tequila brand. But despite working closely with Clooney, 
Ujian's fiancé could not confirm if the actor and his wife, Amal, would be attending their ceremony. I can't say if George Clooney is coming, Brooks Bank told the Daily Mail. With their wedding officially a week away, the couple recently celebrated their upcoming union by releasing their royal monogram. The ornate china set, which includes a miniature teacup and saucer, pillbox, tankard and coaster, features an elegant intertwining E and J monogram. In addition to the couple's intertwined monogram, the princess has her own cup which features a solo E topped with a golden crown or an HRH, which stands for Her Royal Highness. Brooks Bank has a solo monogram of his own, too, but his J is left bare, without a crown. In other words, the monograms, released last week by the Royal Collection Trust, hint that Eugenie's fiancé may not receive a royal title while she will continue to carry hers, according to People. Eugenie and Brooks Banks' royal wedding will take place in St. George's Chapel at Windsor Castle on October 12, where Harry wed Meghan back in May.